All right, hello everybody. I'm back again. Um, I'm just doing some more Twine stuff because it was requested by uh, Matthew Hutchins, I believe. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to be showing you a bit more Twine just for those who, you know, it's been a bit of trouble getting into. Um, and as you can see here, uh, ever since last time, I knocked this up in the last couple of days, but I've been I've created this monstrosity. Uh, God, if you can even follow this remotely. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Yeah, there's just so much here. It's not even, it's crazy. So I've decided to start a little kind of zombie kind of one. Um see, so you know, you know, uh you were only just wed when the outbreak happened. People were thrown into chaos and most of Northern America was lost. All that and then here I've got um you can choose. So this is this is one of the new options. You you saw in the last one it was just bracket 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 like you can choose like uh, and then it'd be like soldier in there or whatever and I create a link to that but this actually means that you have to choose one of these um, um, and you can't choose any of the others it just means you can't go back a page and choose them again you have to choose that one if you choose that so there you go this will link to say I choose uh, priest there we go you'll see this little funny thing up the top now what this does is if you've done any other kind of programming it's basically setting a variable which is this bit the you define it with the dollar sign so you just used to uh, the same things as you do for these so you do the little weird triangle bracket things and then you just go set um, and then you go whatever you want your variable to be so you put a dollar sign there and then you can go uh, variable uh, Nick and then equals and then you just put here whatever you want it to be so it could be like one or whatever um, I just use words because it's easier for me to keep track of what I actually want like the variables to be so I know in this case the person has chosen the class uh, priest and that's easy for me now I know I might be moving along quite quickly with all like this stuff etc um, but you can always you know pause the video and take a better look at these if you need to um, and they're always not they're not that hard um, to get into it uh, anyway like they're not that hard to understand it's basically just uh, the choice thing is the new one uh, this this has to be in brackets and a space in between by the way uh, just so that, like, that is saying, oh, sorry, this is saying that it's a choice, and then that is what the choice is. Um, you can have as many of these as you want, uh, like you saw before with these. And yeah, just kind of that. And then with the the variable thing here, so the set, uh, the class, or whatever you want it to be, the priest, then, uh, yeah, you can do that too. It's not very hard. Um, I spelled it wrong up there, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, so this is um kind of here. So I've, I've got uh, the like the classes but this is important later on in my game because what happens is depending on what class you are um, you can only choose a certain amount of weapons so that a uh, certain kind of weapon so I'll show you uh, here the next bit is it's you can uh, accept or reject his support and here you'll see another kind of thing which is an if statement I'll get to that in a little second but then later on um, uh, what it is oh yeah yeah here you go um, Yes, yeah, so this is actually what I was looking for. Um, so if you can see here, um, if the class equals soldier, which is uh, the class he chose before, so here it says if the class equals soldier, then these are your choices for weapons. But if you weren't, if you didn't choose a soldier, you can only choose these four weapons. So that's the the thing. So there'll be certain perks to being a soldier class. But then there'll be certain downsides to being a soldier class. Like, you might be slower or it'll be harder to reach. Like, there won't be alternate routes to run away through or whatever. Um, and you just kind of set up an if-else statement in Twine, um, which is really, really useful because it means you don't have to do pages and pages of these things, like links flying everywhere, even though here there is links flying everywhere. Uh, but you won't have to have, like, this is just pretty complex what I've done here. You don't need to worry about that. You can start with something a lot less as complex. And then here, um, so as you can see, uh, you just do if, and then you do the same variable you had before, so dollar sign class, and then this little bit basically just says uh, if this variable equals, uh, like, which thing? So uh, soldier, which is in this case here, which was uh, set class equals soldier, so... Uh, I, I define the variable there, and then here, if the class equals soldier, then those are your weapon choices. So there, that's just kind of how you set up that one. Uh, put all the choices you want for that in there, and then um, 
you just put uh, if you want to do more you can put a little else there which is uh, this which is usually what you do in an if else statement because otherwise you wouldn't need a uh, if else all that stuff and then so you do else and then you can do your other choices here which is yeah yeah very easy and then at the end you just do that little thing to show that the if statements over in case you want to add any other text or anything at the bottom but you don't need to worry about that so basically um as you can see this is very very complex um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll just give you a brief walkthrough of this and show you how variables can be, um, like, useful and stuff. So, as I've got here, you basically, uh, you choose your class up at the very top. Uh, you can get a companion along with you. Um, you can accept his report, uh, suggest, re reject or accept his support either way. Then you choose your weapon, um, assess the options of transport. Now, this is where, um, oh, no, sorry, that's the weapons one. Um, oh, that, that's for secondaries, yeah. Okay, so then you can choose your secondary weapon here. Um, and then, see, then, uh, it depends. If your first weapon, if you chose a pistol in your normal weapons, you're not allowed to choose a magnum for your secondary, uh, but that's just another if else, don't worry about that. And then here, it shows, this is really the important bit. So, here, I've got a bit of a scenario. Um, you walk along and you see a zombie, basically, so you're like, ah, what do I do? Oh, geez, you know, like, um, yeah, because you may think, like, defining all these variables here is completely unnecessary, but if you want to make a complex game, that's a good thing to do, because, you see, um, depending on what you have here, there are certain things you can do when the situation arises, so it's like, um, depending on what time you travel in to the city, it depends what time of night it will be, and if it's late at night, you'll have to encounter someone, if it's not, you'll be able to sneak past, or whatever, if it's not late at night, or whatever. So here, depending on what class you are, you can see you are able to choose uh, what you can do. So as you can see here, if like uh, this is where the variables come into play. Um, if class equals professional athlete, like it said up the top up there, uh, you can set you can sneak past the man and continue on your way. Um, and then yeah, your the rest of your journey prov proves to be uneventful and all that. But if you didn't choose um, professional athlete then you startle the zombie and he starts to crawl towards you um but then here it just it, this is just for an example Fuck off i'm a jesus christ i'm recording the video oh so that's just my girlfriend um anyway uh, you startle the zombie uh, he starts crawling towards you here i've just decided to let people off you know because it's just the first case kind of thing but that's just kind of um just to get people prepared for later on in the game, that their choices will have consequences. So that's where you can really, um, at the start, if you define a lot of variables in your game and you use your variable define as well, uh, you really do have a lot of option later on in the game. And as you can see, this goes on for ages. Like, geez, so much. I had to see there's so much to do, like here and stuff. I just uh, haven't been bothered so much time. See, this is just like I've got some ideas here. Untitled passage. Um, and then see, this is like, uh, there's just so much stuff, and it's all because just like I defined too many variables at the start. <laughs> at the start. Um, so this is never going to get finished. Um, if you guys want to have a go at this, then let me know and I can <laughs> email you it or whatever. But yeah, so as you can see, um, with these things I've showed you today, so like the, the if else statement, which is really, really handy in Twine, uh, and how to do that. And with other things like setting variables and all that kind of stuff, it just really makes building your text game so much better. It's it's actually like your game will be ten like better tenfold than it would have been if you don't use this stuff. So I'm um, like I'll, I'll just pause this and then I'll show you my game in action real quick and just show you uh, how it's actually useful and stuff. All right, so we're back. Uh, here we go. Here's my untitled story. Uh, you were only just word when the outbreak happened, uh, all that stuff. What was your job? I'll just do a quick run through. Oh, I was a soldier. Here you go. Oh, I'll accept this guy's support. There we go. Uh, do you, seems happy. What kind of weapons do you take? I'll take a hunting rifle. But then I have to think, oh, a hunting rifle. God, that's going to limit my options later. I have to make sure I have kind of weapon that will be good at short and long range and all that. Uh, what item do you choose? Oh, silencer, that'll be handy. I can take out zombies stealthily. Uh, flashlight, I can see in the dark. Extra ammunition in case I get into trouble. Extra meds in case I get bitten or whatever. Magnum for extra, like, sidearm, so closer range. And a combat knife in case I'm in a really sticky situation. So I just choose silencer or whatever. And as you can see, um, these are all options that I'm choosing here that's going to change outcomes later in the game. So if I drive in, I'll have more time. By 30 minutes, I reach the city. 
uh, sit, sit to death, there's not a soul inside, all this, and then I can choose where to go to look for supplies and all this. Uh, I'm not going to bore you, I'm not going to walk through my whole game, that's just going to take ages and just, yeah, sorry. But basically, you get the point um, that using the variables and stuff is super useful for your game, and just, uh, if you use these, your game will be really great. So, um, yeah, hopefully this has been helpful for you guys, and yeah, if you like it, then be sure to like ask me and I'll make some more. So, yeah, enjoy that, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!